This is a really good analogy, right? 23 is supposed to be a bottoming year. So what does this sort of bottoming pattern look like, right? Do yourself a favor and familiarize yourself with this saucer bottom kind of concept. Nanny nibble kind of idea, but you can see we had to go to a new low. And this saucer bottom does nothing more than really create like a head and shoulders pattern. So I wouldn't be surprised if our, you know, next year or so looks something along these lines. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. The next big wave of buying that I'd like to do is probably into the end of the year, maybe the beginning of the new year, because seasonally that's usually when this stuff bottoms. So just be forewarned on that. But I did notice like, like oh, this Zen here up 15%. So, you know, this is the only business when stuff goes on sale, nobody wants to buy. I mean, uh, no big W's yet. There's this funny looking little price pattern here. But I think this is probably what you're seeing in crypto a lot right now is we were sort of falling right off a cliff. This news to Today, I think it's just sort of injected a little bit of life into the space. And we can kind of go through like no W on the rend yet. If anything, notice, oh, look at that. It's worked its way back down to 61.8. What a big surprise. We're starting to get trade location, right? Next up, probably want to start seeing indicator confirmation. We've got one confirmed bull div. I think maybe they goad people into thinking this is a bottom and push it to another new low here. And that spits up a whole bunch more divs. So just be patient. I don't think there's a huge hurry here. You know, this kind of guy idea, I'd love to uh, let some go up top. Ooh, that one looks good. AGLD. Nice little W trying to come in on that chart there. Potential divs. Probably if this does break out, the potentials turn into confirmed. And it does kind of look like it's reload zone-y. Okay, well, if we go there to there. Oh, look at that. 78.6. Brian's favorite fib right there. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled on that. That might actually be quite nibble worthy if that W does come in. And actually, this would be kind of like, well, you did your nibbles here, and now maybe you can even add to the trade. Or if you did happen to sell half on a double, you can always go back and buy the position back. Dead cat bouncy. Yeah, I see a lot of that right happening right now. Dead cat bouncy. This guy actually never really did break down, eh? So not a bad idea. This is uh, probably a reload zone within a reload zone. So maybe keep an eye on this guy. Boom. Oh, we're a little bit far away now. But the other day we were in that area. I don't really have any buy signals here. So eh, maybe be patient, but um, you can see reload zones within reload zones. You know, Brian absolutely loves that. It's been a while since we've actually been able to talk about reload zones in reload zones. So that's a, that, and that usually only happens after a really nice consolidation, right? You don't get the reload zone within reload zone when we're screaming up like this. That just doesn't happen. It only happens, usually reload zone within reload zone happens when we're doing something like a consolidation, like a triangle like that, right? So you can kind of see the consolidation pattern happening as we speak. Well, that well, looks good. You know, it's not bad. Uh, we're slowly working through this process of bottoming and kind of like what we said, you know, here's a really good example. Look at this triangle here, right? I mean, this thing was just wicked all the way through there. So you get reload zones within reload zones, etc. And then boom. So if anything, this is a good sign. This is what you want to see as a basing sort of pattern. Also too, this is a really good analogy, right? 23 is supposed to be a bottoming year. So what does this sort of bottoming pattern look like? Right. Do yourself a favor and familiarize yourself with this saucer bottom kind of concept. So you can see I did, uh, in fact, actually I bought, I guess, a bit of that there. Was that there? Nanny nibble kind of idea. But you can see we had to go to a new low. And this saucer bottom does nothing more than uh, really create like a head and shoulders pattern. So I wouldn't be surprised if our... Um, you know, next year or so looks something along these lines. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. You know, coming out of September here, uh, coming back from the Labor Day weekend, the fact that the market's so weak uh, there and now is trying to reverse back up and, you know, your Bitcoin is bounced off of its neckline. It's going to work its way up into a right shoulder levels. Hey, you might have a nice little rally window here. It's about time, eh? So good to see. I'm a little concerned that, you know, especially on things like crypto and, you know, you go on social media and you know this up day all we've done is just rallied right into moving average resistance and trend line resistance and we've stopped here i'm a little worried that the public is you know going to come out and be like uber insanely bullish here 
it's a new bull market, blah, blah, blah. And this is a trap. So notice that this is 50% on the daily charts, just looking at this range here. This is 50%. Uh, it is also a Wyckoff check. So anybody who did want to get short off of that last shorting signal, this is basically the level. And notice we've got a 2.618 floating out here. And actually two 877s off of these little bottoms here. So I could very easily see see that just over the short term, uh, this guy comes up and uh, we create the bear divs with the move up top there. And then we get a polite sell signal at the 50% level and back down, we have to go. Uh, Matic, I guess, same sort of thing. We're right back down against, I really like the level here. So if you are hunting for names, obviously this bot is clearly off the table. Boom, 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 78.6. You know, actually, if there was a story for the day to pay attention to, I like that level right in there. Let's see what the indicators look like. Eh, Willie's stupid. RSI is trying to break out here there to there we got our original m uh which sort of told the bears to cool their jets i would like to see another w come in here to actually frame a buy signal so keep your eyes peeled volume is trying to ramp so we've got location we're right down at the bottom end of the range in even higher time frame reload zones right off of this huge uh pattern but also too we also have Oh, this reload zone. So that's an interesting level there. Maybe let that RSI study put in a W here. You can see MACD didn't quite put in a bull div. I do like how volume is ramping up here. So the volume bars are starting to increase and you can see how the bearish volume bars are starting to decrease here. So uh, this is probably one that I would want to keep a close eye on here over the near term. Uh, give us another, uh, uh, I think that the signal is give us another W on the RSI down in here. I think we're ready to go. Probably short-term resistance. I don't know whether you can get a double out of this, but it looks like there to there. And actually that makes sense, right? Because there's your moving average resistance. There's also this uptrend online resistance. And kind of like what we said about 2023, although this is a huge one, it kind of looks to me like this... And actually, that's a yeah, that's a lower low there. So nope, it's not a uh, head and shoulders. This, if anything, might be uh, uh, David might call this like an Adam and Eve. So this would be your Adam, and then we'd want like a little Eve down in here. Hopefully, uh, we get the counter trend rally back into resistance, like so. And maybe ideally, you'd love to just have a nice tight little consolidation. But the Eve would be sort of like this is Adam. And this is Eve, like that. So we'll see whether we can rally back up here. And then the question ultimately is, this is 50 some odd cents, and that's 80, 90 cents. So not quite a double, but pretty close. Mm -hmm.